Hello and welcome to your channel, um, your path from BDS to DMD. So today we are going to talk about how to register for dent pin. And this is the first step in your entire application process. So what is dent pin? Dent pin is a dental personal identifier number. Now, if you see the word, it says dental personal identified and number so please 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 do not share it with anyone this is just like your passport number or your social security this is your number it has your credentials and you will know as i go to the next slide that why this is such a um, number for you to keep secret and do not share it with anyone is because it has a lot of details about you and you just do not want to share those details with anyone so when is dent pin needed? So dent pin is needed for your DAT exams, your ADAT exams, your National Board Part 1, Part 2, or INBD, uh, application for PASS, for CAPID, for the dental hygiene exams, the Texas Medical TMD SAS, the ADIA, the AAD SAS, the ADAT, and the MATCH exams. So this is a website that you can go. It's called ada.org, uh, black backslash en education careers and dent pain and i'm going to put this in the uh, description box below so you can see it once you log in on the left it says dent pin registration so click on that now once you click on that it will ask you for your first name last name it will also ask you for a middle name um most people uh, from India have middle name as their parents initial. Um, I don't have that in my passport, so I don't use a middle name. But if you have one, please put that in. And I know most people who are um, not from the Southeast Asian countries, but from European countries, they do have a middle name. Um, so if you don't have one, please leave it blank. Then you write the date of birth. It's a month date and year format please make sure it's a month date and year format it'll ask you for a gender um do you consider yourself to be of hispanic origin now hispanic origin means people who are uh, from spanish speaking countries or um, there is a definition which you can look into and um, if you are from uh, india I know most of us are not from Hispanic origin. So the next question is, which of the following best describes your race? And in that, we are uh, either Asian or Asian Indians. And the next question is, is English your first language? So this is just, I think these are questions which are just to collect demographic data. It is not going to affect your chances of getting into school. So. If English is not your first language, then write no. If English is your first language, because I know coming from India, uh, for a lot of us, English is our first language. You know, that is the only language that we speak at home. That's the language our parents speak. That's the language our grandparents speak. And there are certain parts in India where, you know, for generations, English has been the first language. So, you know, depending on um, what your first language is, you can either click yes or no. Then your contact information. In this, there's an address, city, state, zip code, and country. Now, if you, you know, are a foreign national who's applying for a dent pin from your home country, then the state will not be valid for you because in the drop-down box, the state, they are all United, you know, the, the 50 states of United States. Um, when you write an address, city, state, zip, or country, um, this may be an address that will be used for correspondence. Dent pin does not use it for any kind of correspondences, but that's where you write the address. Then there's a phone number and an email address. After this, it will ask you click to continue. So this is quote unquote the first half of the page of dent pin. Then the second page of the application. The second page of the application asks you for security information. So it will ask you to create a password. Then you repeat the password. Then you create a password hint question. Again, the question and the answer of the password hint, please do not share it with anyone. This is like your bank details. You don't give your password from your or your ATM pin with anybody, right? It's the same thing. Please do not share it. Um, then there is a question 
I am currently attending dental school or hygiene program. Please check this only if you are attending a school in the United States. If you're outside the United States, you do not check this box as the entire list that populates after you check this box. These are all schools from the United States. So you do not want to check on this list if you are a foreign trained dentist. And then you hit submit. Ta-da, you have your dent pin number and now you're ready to apply for your national board exams. Uh, and uh, dent pin is the first step. Congratulations, you have taken the first step for coming to the United States and studying here so that you can be an internationally trained dentist like me. If you have any questions or concern or if you like to um, have answers about specific details, please feel free to leave me a comment. Kindly share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you very soon. So our next video is going to be how to get credential evaluation. This entire series is a part of the first um, episode that we spoke about that I will walk you through the 10 major steps of getting into a dental school in the United States. Good luck, take care, and happy applying. Bye-bye.